All right, everybody, welcome to the Week 10 recap. Already into the double digits. Football season, it goes very fast, very sad. But we're getting close to the playoff uh, playoff race now. And uh, just a few weeks left, so we'll get to figure out uh, exactly who's dancing, metaphorically speaking, in the next few weeks. All right, so first up, we'll talk about We Are Garbage versus Gimmet Loot. A uh, very strong matchup this week. Uh, Gimmet Alou, John Fornecker with the uh, top record in the league. Well done. And Shane uh, Magnamy with We Are Garbage, a resurgent team on a roll. Uh, you know, look like a non-contender early on now. You know, was was on its way up, trying to make a final push. But this week, uh, Gimmet Alou was a little too strong for We Are Garbage, and Gimmet Alou got the win. The Drew Brees to Jimmy Graham connection, just on point. Got 48 combined points from those two uh, people. Uh, and it could have been more if anyone saw the end of the game where they called uh, off a touchdown, uh, a Hail Mary to, to Jimmy Graham. So uh, didn't matter, though. Got enough points, got the win. Savvy plays from uh, We Are Garbage of Odell Beckham Jr., who is all of a sudden on fire. I mean, who else do they have to throw to for the Giants? And Martavis Bryant, but not quite enough. And give me a loot with another win. Well done. Next, we'll go with uh, Marshawn Lynchpin of uh, Ben Weeks versus Pat Jordan and the Bears. And this matchup was just straight domination. Good old-fashioned classic domination. Uh, Marshawn Lynch got four TDs for the Lynchpin. He performs well for his uh, team named after him and drops a 40 bomb. So... Uh, ben with exactly 200 points, pretty impressive showing, and gets a huge win. Just points everywhere, points abound. And for the Bears, tired of saying it, wide receivers were good, everyone else was shit. Same old thing, I don't even need to look at the Bears box score anymore. I'm just going to guess that Antonio Bryan and Jordy Nelson did really well, and everyone else maybe got him five points. Probably a good guess. And uh, so the Bears, yeah, just too many holes on the team, much like the real Bears, Zinga. All right, next up we'll go with uh, Going Green of uh, John Fitzsimmons versus Philadelphia, right here. Early on, this looked to be the number one and number two teams in the league. Both have fallen off a little bit recently, uh, but both right now are projected playoff teams. Uh, Going Green, just some bad luck this week. Carson Palmer breaking his bones. A.J. Green and Matt Forte didn't do too much. But luckily, he'll get Andrew Luck back next week, who has just been on fire. Perks of being commish, you know, schedule people when uh, when they're on buys, I guess. So it was a good time to face going green uh, when Andrew Luck wasn't playing. And so a pretty comfortable win for Philadelphia. Uh, let's see. Next up, we'll go with Braveheart Chicken Wings versus Melson Molesters. The crazy matchup of the week. Uh, just absurd. It's not even that Braveheart Chicken Wings did that badly this week. He had a, a pretty solid showing, good number of points. But Melson Molesters with the second highest point total this week, y'all. Craziness. So, kudos to, uh, to Melson Molesters. You know, hate on you most of the time, but, <laughs> but gotta give you your props when you put up points. Peyton, uh, Manning and Jamal Charles did their normal thing. Got a lot of points for Melson Molesters, but the randos chipped in actually this week. Jared Cook, who I was very high on last year and disappointed me tremendously. Jordan Matthews, Dwayne Bowe, all with monster games. Monster games. And Melson Molesters with the, with the win. So thank you from everyone, uh, from all of us in the playoff race, because that made the, the race a whole lot more interesting with Braveheart Chicken Wings uh, getting the loss there. All right, so uh, last we'll talk about Return of Macklin. Versus Ertz, so good. Return of the Macklin is Drew Melson, Ertz, so good. Mike Melson. So this is either the Battle of Melsons or the Battle of uh, Teams with Eagles in the title. Take your pick. And uh, Return of the Macklin with the extremely savvy play of Cardinals defense, his highest score. We never see highest scores of defense, but uh, that was huge for him as Cardinals defense put up like 28 points. And for Ertz So Good, his recently acquired uh, quarterback of Aaron Rodgers uh, throws him six TDs and a half. Aaron Rodgers loves his new team, apparently. But sadly, the rest of the team just did not gel around him. And uh, so Aaron Rodgers put up huge points. Everybody else, meh. 
Meh, not enough. So Return of the Macklin gets the win there and stays alive in the playoff hunt and looks like he can still make a push. Alright, so now we will look at those rankings.